The time traveller found strange friends in the world of the future. The chance to beat the last enemy. I set the cube down upon the sh- what should have been Mulford, Connecticut, in the year 2514 AD. Four years of hush-hush work, government labs, paid off the cube work. The public would never know about it. Even long before, after I got back, I hide a cube in his cave. Now I'll go, can do a little exploring. There's a forest about me. In 500 years, every trace of the city of Watford had gone instead. I came upon a dead field, dead field strewn with all things, dead tigers, tigers, dozens of them, and wearing clothes. Just then I heard this voice behind me, a voice with squeaky quality. I could understand what that when I saw its source. It was quite a battle master. The big cats are the toughest to beat. You can talk? Oh, yes. You can't, your kind left us many things, language, culture, weapons. But you're not supposed to be alive, Mr. Something called Atomic War, finished the humans. And so the earth was left the, the animals. Someone had to inherit the earth. It's still a nice planet to live on, you know. But there are so many questions to ask. But the impact of mankind's tragic end struck so deeply. It left me stunned. I turned to this creature. I heard him snigger. What do you think what, what do you think so funny? The lights didn't go out entirely. Out to Tully after a knock on the head. I felt the pain and caught a quick glimpse of the ground coming up to meet me. I could only sense them at rest, being dragged into some sort of tunnel in the ground. I passed out. If ever any man was in a jam, it was Herman Drake, myself. I hadn't, couldn't guess how far on the ground they'd taken me. I woke, I was facing an inquisition. The night, it hurts my eyes. When will you tell us what you, what you want us to know, I'll turn it off. What can I possibly tell you? That... Look at there, here. We're not just dealing with your ancestral species. We think we build with fighting and rule this planet. And with your help, we can win. Our tunnel networks circled in Earth's entire subsurface. But up above, the dogs and cats struggle for mastery. Up until now, we wanted for one to destroy the other. Now we don't have to wait. Not when we can learn. To make atom bombs. Atom bombs? Yes. You show us how. You can't we travel back to your time period and find someone who can teach us. I don't know what you mean. Don't kid me. I don't. I didn't get here with, with a pogo stick. You're crying built a time machine. And you're the like pilot. Now tell me where you hid that machine. The little devil was smart from the likes of his kind. Quite nasty. I kept my silence. Now, I don't talk, huh? But you will, but you know, we studied the methods. The ancient Nazis, remember them? Just when an alarm bell went off somewhere, a look of fright crossed the inquisitor's face. A raid is a raid. I don't know what this meant, but I hoped it was a miracle I'd been praying for. To the main cabin, quick. The main cabin was already in the hands of leaders. They're huge and lightning. Swift, and they poured with organized precision for the vehicle, which for the drill head, which had bored in its way to the underground tunnels. It's an astonishing sight. The raiders carried what looked like flamethrowers, as gas which sprawled from the nozzles in their hands. Captors had fled. All I could do was yell and cough as the gas developed me. I asked my move for. I was struck on the floor with a extraordinary figure of one of the invaders looming. Before me in a swirling mist. I woke of all things a soft and comfortable bed. I felt quite content. I didn't see the dog and fox and bear at my bedside. Imagine that, a real man, fantastic. Suddenly the door of my room was flung open by a huge bulldog in military uniform. This had jumped to attention. When he entered, my family outranked them all. Attention at ease. They called him general. Left respectfully when he requested enemy 
they'd, been, they'd left us alone. I trust you're comfortable, sir. Do you feel better? I've been given the best of care. And why not? It's like welcome the return of an old friend is not. Tell me, General, about the fight, this fighting. Alas, the fighting. You must find it sad how that dogs does not fight to subject. You fight to put the end to this instinct of national enemy. Beginning we fought them all. The foxes, bears, wolves. Now we're allies, you see. It's possible to subject cooperate in an order, in place of fear and hate. Perhaps may, it may work with the cats too, but as a Florence and I, what kind of animal, that kind of animal is different. He, he knew it. But it's not only cruel and vicious, but extremely smart. In a big competition, in the end it will be eroded against the entire animal kingdom. Yes, it'll be them or us. Then be peace for all time. I think I would favour victory for you, your side, General. It meant that the earth would be in good hands when a victory for his side. I asked the General to call his lead side this. That's right. I want the chief scientist. Tell him the General would like to see him here at once. In presence of the General, the chief scientist, about what I had. My sheet of paper. This is basic but ritual description. The process. Now it's up to you. I don't know whether I was right to doing that. I leave you a dangerous heritage. That man's last gesture is faith in you. And now I take the look, last look of the armed camp. Oh well, I hope the non humans make a better job of the, the man did. I did. I said my goodbyes to General Associates. He saw to it that he was taken to the spot where he first appeared. According to our agreement, I left by myself a salt out the time machine. Well, let's get back to the past. Drake, you place it along among men, even if they were going to perish. I entered. I look at my seat once more at the controls. I wonder if any other men would have given them the atom bomb. I don't think so. It's better that the world go to the dogs than let them a lot of scheming rats. I managed to I managed a rather thin smile with a stream of passing time drove me my headlong rush to overtake my destiny. The end.